Agnes, as she was called, Agnes, the future Mother Teresa, born in Skopje, North Macedonia, Albanian, the youngest of three children. Her parents, Nicholas, a prosperous building contractor who would die when Agnes was just eight years of old. He is said to have been poisoned and her mother, uh, her mother, whose name was Branifele, the, the, the parents really trained her, the importance of giving generously to the poor. I think it's just something really key. It's the same dynamic in St. John Paul II. He'd, he'd say St. John Paul II, you know, his mother died when he was very young, and during the night he would wake up, and find his father on his knees praying. And that really impressed St. John Paul II. It was the same for Mother Teresa. I just want to quote what she says about her father, whom you see in this, in this photograph here. With joy, I recall how generous my father was. He gave food and money to all in need without calling attention to it or bragging about it. Sometimes he sent money, clothing, and food to the poor. An 80-year-old lady used to come to our house. She drank coffee, brandy, and ate lunch and dinner at our home. Father used to say, welcome her warmly and with love. The same for her mother, as you see in this image here. Uh, really, she remembers her mother as someone with strong will and determination. Remember what I said last week, behind every man there is a woman. And again, we see this mother, just this strong will and determination, which, which really you can see was passed on to Mother Teresa. And again, to quote what Mother Teresa says about her mother. When I expressed the desire of giving my virginity to God, my mother was reluctant. But at the end, she said, all right, my daughter, go, but make sure you belong to God and to Christ alone. And Mother Teresa goes on to say, not only God, but she as well would have condemned me if I had not worthily followed my vocation. One day in heaven, she will ask me, daughter, have you lived for God alone? Hi, are you ready to get back together with people and talk about our faith? Think about joining us on an Inside the Vatican pilgrimage. Go to InsideTheVaticanPilgrimages.com and see all our latest pilgrimages. Come join us on pilgrimage.